Let's see how to calculate percentages of numbers by hand. To learn the method, we're going to work through the two examples that we see here. So let's get started. First of all, we need to calculate 30% of 80. Well, to calculate 30% of 80, there are two important things to realize. First of all, when we say 30%, that means 30 over 100. Another way of saying that would be 30 divided by 100. Secondly, the word of in this context can be replaced by a multiplication sign. So with those two facts in mind, when we say 30% of 80, it means 30 over 100 times 80. In other words, to calculate 30% of 80, we need to calculate 30 over 100 times 80. And now, remembering that when we multiply a fraction by a number, all we need to do is multiply the numerator by that number, we can state that this equals to 30 times 80 over 100. And all we have to do now is evaluate this fraction. Now, if you're comfortable with simplifying fractions, then you can probably already see that we can simplify this quite a bit. But let me assume for a minute that you're not comfortable simplifying fractions, and what you're looking for is a method that always works. In that case, we'd start by taking care of this numerator, and we'd multiply 30 by 80. So let's go ahead. This is equal to 30 times 80, which is 2,400, and that's over 100. Now, if you're in any way uncomfortable calculating 30 times 80 by hand, by all means use long multiplication. In fact, in the second example, we'll be doing just that. Going back to our fraction here, we have 2,400 over 100. And that means 2,400 divided by 100. And by all means check, but 2,400 divided by 100 is equal to 24. And that's the answer. So 30% of 80 is equal to 24. Now, before working through the second example, let me quickly go back to the fraction that we had here, this 30 times 80 over 100. Remember, I had said that if you are comfortable with simplifying fractions, then you'll see that this can be simplified quite a bit. And here's the idea. We could have stated that that equals to 3 times 10 times 8 times 10. Since 3 times 10 is 30, and 8 times 10 is 80. And all of that would have been written over 10 times 10. Since 10 times 10, well, that's just 100. We could have then gotten rid of all of the factors that we find on both the numerator and the denominator. And it wouldn't take us long to see that on both the numerator as well as the denominator, we have 10 times 10. So we could have just crossed those 10s out and stated that that was equal to 3 times 8, which equals to 24, which confirms the 24 that we had just found. All right, that being said, let's look at the second example. We have to calculate 7% of 24. Well, the thinking process is still the same. Remember, when we write 7% of 24, this 7% means 7 over 100, and the word of in this context means times. So 7% of 24 is equal to 7 over 100 times 24. And now that equals to 7 times 24 over 100. So I'll just write that. That's 7 times 24 over 100. And at this stage, we need to calculate 7 times 24. And 7 times 24, well, to make sure to get the right value, I'll go ahead and use long multiplication. And I'll do that in the upper right-hand corner of the page. So that's 24 times 7. Okay, well, 7 times 4 is 28, so I write the 8 at the bottom, and I carry over the 2. And now 7 times 2 is 14, and I add the 2 that I carried over, so that would be 16. So I write that at the bottom here, that's 16. And so we quickly see that 7 times 24 is 168. So going back to our fraction, we can state that that's equal to 168 over 100. And now, to state our final answer, all we need to do is divide 168 by 100. And by all means check, but 168 divided by 100 is equal to 1.68. And that's the answer. 
So 7% of 24 is equal to 1.68. And there we have it. That's how we can calculate percentages of numbers by hand. And that's it for this tutorial.